right. Hello, boys and girls. Um, it's Miss Oss again. Um, I wanted to give you a little um, example of some things that you could find for lesson two and then maybe show you um, how I would approach that lesson. So they asked just to find some things that you might have laying around the house. I know it's a great time right now to maybe go through some stuff and um, see what you use and don't use. Um, so I have these in my kitchen drawer, some little twisty ties that we save and they're always good some um, clothespins and some paper clips. I don't know if I'll use them, but I kind of gathered them up. Um, these were bendy. Some double-sided tape. Um, I also do have some glue, some string, um, shoelace uh, from packages. I have some bubble wrap that I've saved and some tissue paper that I also received in a package, but uh, I usually save. And I know we probably all have some empty toilet paper rolls. Um, so those are great too if you are trying to think of some objects. Um, and I'm sure that you have a ton of other objects that you could use or materials that you would recycle. Um, oh yeah, and I have this pizza box too. Um, and cereal boxes um, for this next project, lesson two. For All right, so for grades um, kindergarten, first and second, um, this is the printed um, copy. I printed it from my computer of lesson two um, for art this week. And um, what's really cool is that um, they looked at the artist Yayoi Kusama, who if you were in the art room, which all of you were, um, you saw the the dot room that kindergarten was creating because we studied this artist Kusama. Um, so that's kind of cool for kindergartners and for you guys because you should recognize that artwork. Um, it is a mixed media project. So the first video I did for third, fourth, fifth, um, and all the kindergarten first and second was just showing you some different materials that I collected. Um, and for our project today, um, I'm going to use this toilet paper roll that I cut in half. Um, some bendy things, some twisty ties, and I thought that I might turn this toilet paper roll into a bug. So I'm going to use some tape. Um, if you don't, you can think about, oh my goodness, could I hold it together with some safety pins or some paper clips or glue or some string. So whatever you can do to get your little, um, to change your, your mixed media art and hold it together um, would be absolutely great. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, my process for that. and first grade and second grade so this is my little um, bug he's nothing too fancy but I could um, I attach this um, paper clip to the back of them so I could fly fly them around so you could do something like this um, it's just half a toilet paper roll um, some um, bubble wrap and if you have clear I wonder if you could color it with markers underneath or something um, a twisty tie a little piece of paper and a marker and there we have it I have transformed lots of different things, twisty ties, bubble wrap, um, toilet paper rolls, all that good stuff into um, a little uh, imaginary bug. All right, I can't wait to see your artwork. Um, there is a part um, in Schoology and in the art folder right under um, the lessons that says, um, it, it has a place where you can post a picture of your artwork and I would love to see it and I will comment back to you. All right, have fun, bye.